Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how fat gets burned, okay? Now, when you think about fat burning, there's no real burning going on. It's basically the release of fat from the fat cell that gets turned into energy, okay? And I'm going to just talk about the mechanics of actually what happens. Um, your fat cell is primarily uh, stored with triglycerides, okay? Those are fats and they're in a liquid state. So your fat is basically liquid. It's not a solid. And what happens is that there's an enzyme called hormone sensitive lipase. It's an enzyme. Now enzymes are proteins that help chemical changes occur in the body. They're like the workhorse. They're like the worker bee that does the work in the body. They're kind of magical because they can go in there and change and break down proteins and build them back up, break down fat and build them back up into body tissue. So lipase is the primary enzyme that releases the stored fat in the fat cell. And it's hormone sensitive, which means it's triggered by certain hormones. Okay, so now that we know that uh, lipase is the enzyme, now the real question is what triggers lipase, okay? There's certain things that trigger it. And number one, we're going to use uh, this little book right here, Guidance Physiology. On page uh, 927, it says, insulin inhibits the action of hormone-sensitive lipase. Okay? So if this is the burning effect or the releasing effect, and insulin is there, it will inhibit this. It will stop it. Number two, insulin promotes glucose transport into the fat cell. So basically, in the presence of insulin, it's going to actually cause storage into the fat cell. Okay, so far, insulin is not good for losing weight, right? But here's what I want to talk about. Therefore, when insulin is not available to promote glucose entry into the fat cell, fat storage is almost completely blocked. Okay, all aspects of fat metabolism are greatly enhanced in the absence of insulin, okay? So it's really the absence of insulin that triggers lipase. That's the trigger, all right? So cutting out the carbs, not eating so frequently, those are the two big ones. Uh, number two, fasting. So fasting is another trigger for this enzyme, intermittent fasting. Why? Because every time you eat, you trigger insulin, right? Another one, adrenaline from exercise. So exercise will trigger the lipase enzyme to help you dissolve fat. Growth hormone is another trigger for lipase. Growth hormone would be intense exercise, sleeping, a small amount of protein, and intermittent fasting. Those are all the triggers for growth hormone. Um, thyroid hormones will also trigger lipase. Okay? Now, sometimes people will say um, they have a confusion because they, they say, well, insulin resistance is blocking insulin from getting into the cell, so thereby we'll have lower insulin and we'll lose weight. But that's not what happens because when you have insulin resistance, it sends a signal to the pancreas, forcing the pancreas to make five to seven times more insulin. So insulin resistance is actually too much insulin because of the overcompensation that's occurring. It's a real important point that you need to know. So we have this release of fat from the fat cell, uh, partly, uh, we got triglycerides, fatty acids that can be used for energy in the muscle, but also a lot of it's just converted through the liver into ketones, which is used for energy. So that's where we get the uh, ketosis. Um, so the question is, um, would a low-calorie diet trigger lipase? Okay, well, not necessarily. Not if you have carbs in your diet, too many carbs, and you're triggering insulin. So this will just kind of help you understand like what diets will work, what diets won't. Will a high fat diet cause the release of the fat? Well, not necessarily because high fat uh, does not inhibit insulin. You can still be eating carbs and fat at the same time. Fasting, well, that's not eating anything. Exercise, growth hormone. So high fat is not the trigger. It's something that you want to consume because it's, it's kind of it's not going to trigger insulin too much, but it's not the main trigger. Low-fat diet, is, is that going to help trigger the release of this? No, because there is no, when you do a low-fat diet, that's not a trigger to this enzyme at all. It's not going to help you lose weight. Would a high-protein diet cause this trigger? No, because high-protein doesn't trigger any of these. 
Would a vegan diet trigger lipase? No, because you could be eating a lot of carbs. It really depends on your insulin level, if you're doing intermittent fasting, exercise, growth hormone, and thyroid hormone. Avoiding saturated fat, is that going to help you lose weight? <laughs> no, it's not going to help you lose weight at all. So uh, the point is that this is how fats burn through this enzyme. These are the triggers, and that's the simplicity of it. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.